la pena de prisión perpetua. E inhabilitación... The highlight of a week of convictions against violators of human rights. A life sentence for 85-year-old Jorge Rafael Videla. The former dictator oversaw the bloodiest years of Argentina's infamous dirty war against suspected left-wing activists. A just war against subversion, he says, in which as many as 30,000 Argentines were detained, tortured and disappeared. In 1985, Videla was sentenced to life for crimes against humanity, but was pardoned under an amnesty five years later. The Supreme Court annulled the amnesty in 2007, opening the door for Videla to be sentenced again on 31 new counts of torture and murder. The use of armed forces to combat subversive terrorism in 1975 was not an improvised act, nor something new. Videla remains unrepentant, making his conviction all that sweeter for people like Victoria Montenegro, whose parents were murdered in 1976 by an army intelligence colonel, who then stole her and raised her as his own. Or for Maria Adela Varela Antocolets, whose brother Daniel, a 39-year-old law professor, was arrested and never seen again. We celebrate every time that these henchmen are brought into the courtroom handcuffed and taken out again with handcuffs, a symbol that justice is being institutionalized. Here we are talking about a man who planned and carried out genocide. How can we not celebrate? Videla's co-defendant, General Luciano Benjamin Menendez, was also sentenced to life in prison. He became infamous for carrying out massive repression in northern Argentina. Unlike in neighboring Chile, where former dictator Augusto Pinochet went to his grave without ever being sentenced for gross human rights violations, here many survivors and relatives of victims can finally say that at last justice has been done, even if they had to wait for more than 25 years. La pena de prisión Still, while this may be a day of celebrations for human rights advocates, they're very aware that time is running out. There are still some 800 other alleged rights violators awaiting trial, and given their advanced age and the lengthy legal process, they may never face justice. We see a Newman, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.